you damn right it need to be taken off. Because people do change, right? See, you see, this is how they view their brothers and sisters, their family members that are convicted felonies. This is you get to see it in real time how family members view their motherfucking relatives. You get to see it with these people. Because this is exactly how family do you. Because you fucking cr It's easy to have a motherfucker that's a convicted felony or a pumped up on charges when you don't want him to run against you. Why y'all ain't put these charges? Why you could have been put these charges on this nigga? Y'all could have been did that. But you wait till this nigga is re running again for re election. All of a sudden now. We got charges after charges after charges after charges after charges after charges after charges. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all, y'all take motherfuckers for dummies, bro. That's what it is. But this is this is what I can't understand with these people. Do they not see the issue with the economy? I'm just saying. Do they not see the prices? To rent and fucking apartments. Do they not see the prices it is to buy five items in the grocery store? Do they not see the prices to go buy a house? See me, I'm on the rent side. I'm now on the buying houses side. You know, I was on the rent side, you know. Now I done, I done graduated to the buying house side. So I get to see this shit. I wasn't always over here. But now I'm on the side of house shopping. You know, you like this one right here? Okay. Dude, it's ridiculous. So I'm trying to see how is voting for Kamala uh, making a difference if she already been there. And those are the results that we have. I, I don't understand. So what about voting for if she would not if she she said there's not much different I would do than Joe Biden? Then god damn, what am I supposed to do? You don't leave people a choice. This is listen, you ain't give us a choice. For the people that voted for Trump, what choice did they have when they asked you what would you do different than Joe Biden? And your answer was it's not much different. You would well god damn. You defeated your own self. <laughs> bye bye. You telling me you don't see an issue with what we got going on? Then if you do see an issue, then you should have been able to state what would you do that would be different than the president of today. So, lady, bye bye. Take your ass on. Go on. Bye. Get out of here. Skedatta. You ain't for us. You don't care about us. You don't gave our motherfucking money away. You know how we is about our goddamn money. You ain't even gave us no reparation. Not saying that I'm waiting on no motherfucking reparation because I go to work. I go to work. But I'm just saying though, I take a reparation. Everybody else got a check. And still getting a check. You ain't gave us nothing yet, bitch. I'm sorry. I apologize for the B word. I'm sorry. Lady, get on. Go on. Go on by your bed. Go on by your bed, lady. I just wanna I just wanna know though. I just wanna know how I just wanna know how people are it's okay with this lady giving our money away. I just wanna know how you are oh you you okay. We're giving hurricane victims seven hundred and fifty dollars for sending billions of dollars somewhere else. I just want to know how you can vote for that. For the people that sit here and whining about Kamala, 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 how are you okay? You wouldn't be okay if that was you, though. You wouldn't be okay if your motherfucking house just got wiped away. If your family don't have a place to stay. And all you can offer is seven hundred and fifty dollars. You and you vote for that, man. I'm just saying, it don't make sense to me. 
it don't make sense to me. It don't make sense to me. And you wonder why she didn't win North Carolina and South Carolina? Shit. I know you weren't expecting to win now. One of those. <laughs> you can't be expecting to. You, she wasn't expecting to win no state that was hit by some disaster and they ain't showed up to fucking help them people. Get the fuck out of here. This lady a joke. Hey, let's just say this. Let's just say none of us give a fuck about Trump. Let's just be honest. Is Trump going to help any of us directly? No. But indirectly, we will benefit from some of the policies that he have in place. Indirectly. A lot of us are not in the tax bracket to where we can receive this major benefit from having Trump as president. But indirectly, we'll be able to have jobs. Our parents get to keep their money on their Social Security. We don't have to see corporations taking their motherfucking plants to somewhere else and, th and still try to sell their products in the United States. It's, it's a lot of indirect benefits that us, the lower class, can receive. He's speaking to American issues. She's not speaking to American issues. Who is she speaking for? She's speaking for people that are coming to America. I don't understand how can I see this, but these smart people that got all these education degrees and they done went to college for 10 years and they, they run multi million dollar companies and corporations, but they can't see that she's speaking to the opposite of America. What is she? She not speaking to us. Every if okay, you give Kamala, Donald Trump, talking points and policies. Who we vote for? We vote for Kamala. If you switch the characters around, we don't care that it's Trump. We care about the person that's speaking to America issues. You, Kamala, wasn't speaking to America issues. We didn't, you, y'all trying to make it seem like we love Trump. We don't give a fuck about this nigga. We give a fuck that he's speaking to our issues. He's speaking to America issues. So we don't, we don't want to hear that all that bullshit. Oh, y'all just want the orange guy. Y'all love Trump. Y'all love a criminal. Y'all love, this. man, shut all that up. This man was talking to America, American citizens. He told American citizens, we're going to take our country back. He didn't say white people, we're going to take our country. He said American citizens. So don't try to give me that, oh, you voted for a racist. Well, I'd rather vote for a racist than to be voting for a motherfucker that's still helping somebody else. So you telling me I got to choose between a racist and a motherfucker that helping immigrants. I'm still out the motherfucking loop, ain't it? I'm still like the loop being, don't it? At least this racist said he gonna help American citizens. This 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 nigga ain't say I'm finna help other people that are coming to America. We're gonna give them all kind of benefits. We're gonna let them come over here and get the job. We're gonna give them money and, and, and welfare and housing. This no. So I'd rather vote for the racist if he racist. I don't know and I don't give a fuck. But I do give a fuck if he going he gonna help us, he gonna put some policies in place to help me indirectly. Yeah. So is Kamala um racist? Was her campaign racist to the American citizen? She racist to the American citizen. So yeah, what 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 what, what choice did I have? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Y'all, y'all on that bullshit. Yeah, let's get some of this money. Why do we take a nigga? Why do we take a nigga that's not the president to threaten that car plant down in Mexico? How the nigga that's not the president got enough balls to say if I become president, we will not be taking your products. 
because you did not build your plant here in the United States. And your plant would be competition to the plant we have in Detroit, Michigan. How this nigga got enough juice to start some shit like that and he not even a president? He not even a vice president. As you say, this nigga is a felony. But he got enough juice to save a fucking... He saved thousands of people's jobs. All because of his meth. So this felony just saved thousands of men and women their job. But you, as the vice president and the president, can do that. How are you telling me we don't get no money from no country? But we able to give out all this money. You telling me this nigga right here finna make them pay them drug taxes? <laughs> yeah. I'm going with the nigga that gonna put the drug tabs on. Yo, tax these niggas. Yeah. Yeah, we need y'all yeah, tax these niggas. Bro, why we can't get no money, but everybody get money from us? Yeah, tax them niggas, dog. I'm going with the drug lord. This nigga, I'm going with the mob boss. Yeah, the mob boss said them niggas got to pay. Yeah, I'm going with the mob boss, dog. I'm just going to tell you, dog. The mob boss is in control. What the fuck? Yeah. People <laughs> funny. So we was keeping the country before Trump got elected president. I'm just saying. Last time I checked, everybody but American citizens was doing well. Last time I checked. Last time I heard, everybody that wasn't American, well, they love in America right now. Last time I checked, the niggas that are born and raised here in the United States, the great America. Boy, niggas are talking like, like, damn, I just can't catch a break. I, I, my, you know, my, my rent didn't go up $40 like it used to. My rent went up $400. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they saying that in July, I mean, in January, the rent won't be $1,400 no more. It's going to be 2200 Yeah, yeah, they saying the rent won't be 3000 next year. It'll be 4000 next year. Yeah, they saying the grocery stores are saying that they got to raise the price on the food. So when I used to be able to go to the grocery store and buy a meal, you know, I spend maybe... $60, $70. Now I can only buy sandwiches. I only can buy sandwiches now. Yeah. I ain't never heard a motherfucker spending four and five hundred dollar cash on groceries. And barely have enough fucking grocery to last a week. You spend four and five hundred dollars on grocery, motherfucker, you ate. You spend four or five hundred dollars now. And you barely got enough to survive for the week. So, dude, when did we have our country? Because it seemed like we lost the country a long time ago. It seemed like we lost the country when Obama got up in there. But it seemed like Obama was busy being cool and painting the White House in rainbow colors. It seemed like we ain't never really had a president that was for us. The last time I checked, the nigga that was for us got popped in the top. Yeah, the nigga that was willing to fight for the American citizen, last time I checked, he, he was knocked out in the car. Yeah, somebody blew his head off. So, I ain't none of you niggas really been fucking with the American citizen. You took our brothers and sisters to war. For drugs, lied about it. You've been fighting for power. So ain't none of you niggas really fought for America. Now that we got a nigga saying we put America first. Man, come on. What you think we want to hear? Well, that's what we want to hear. We've been waiting for a nigga to say America is first. 
Not white people, not black people, not Spanish people, not Asian, not Jamaican, not Haiti, not, no, America. American citizens coming first. We've been waiting on the nigga to say some shit like that. About time, about time we get a, about time we had a black, so-called black man in there that did everything but for the supposedly race that he claimed. Get the fuck out of here. Obama people was rich already. But he's supposed to be one of us. That nigga ain't one of us. If he was one of us, he would have did something for us because he would have felt that pressure. He would have felt like he had to. See, when you, if you're one of us, nigga, you feel like you got to do something for your peoples when you make it to them type of spots. Yeah, I got to give back. I got to do something for my people. I know what it feel like to come from that. So clearly he's not one of us. Because the first people he wanted to help, <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> he ain't want to go help us, but he sure went and helped somebody else. You know who he helped. He said, you think the blanket immunity going to get passed for the police? Bro. The people will not allow a cop to shoot an unarmed citizen and the people not have a reaction to that. You see it now. You see it now when cops are doing things and the people find out. The people put that pressure. They apply that pressure. And what we see, cop has been found guilty of manslaughter. First degree murder. You know, so... It's not going to change. It's, that's not going to change. No cop will go out here and do something as reckless as kill a civilian without a major cause and get away with it. That's not going to ever change. The people won't allow that. The people won't allow that. So they're trying to make it seem like, oh, the, the police going to be able to do whatever they want to do. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up, bruh. And I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people that are so silly to think that. Grow up. You think a police can just go do what the fuck he want to do and still keep his job? We know a lot of them get away with shit. That ain't going to never change. We know niggas that get away with shit at your job. People get away with things all the time, bro. Everybody don't get caught for the bad things they have done. I can raise my hand on that. So, police officers will get away with crimes, but once it hit the mainstream and shit like that and they get caught, you're out of there. Glamour. Clink, clink. You know. You know what I'm saying? But people trying to make it seem like that's going to be the case. That's never going to be the case. Never. What the, what the fuck? God damn it, we all finna go be police then if that's the case. Nigga, we all finna sign up. If the police... Bro, do you know how many niggas would sign up to be a police officer, bro? Like, I really had to hit that on you right there. Do you, nigga, do you know how many people would sign up to be a police officer, nigga, if they granted full immunity, nigga? Come on, dog, Nigga, I'm first in line. I'm first in line, nigga. I'm right down. I work with them every day. Them niggas ain't stupid enough. Come on, bruh. Full immunity. Do you know what that look like? Man, nigga just be walking around slapping it. Mm, slap. Touch me. Touch me you want to. I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass. And you know that's what police officers do. They whoop ass. I work with them. I know. They ready to whoop some ass. They ready to come to work and beat your ass, nigga. They wife been talking shit all week. They ready to come to work and a nigga get out of line. Get your bitch ass up, nigga. I'm the police. Yeah, they really get like that, some of them. Yeah, they really like that. Yeah, they really, they re I really seen a nigga slap a nigga in the face. I said, damn. Yeah, the nigga keeps saying, I told you, bitch, I told you. Don't touch me. Fuck, I don't know where you fucking been. I seen a nigga, I seen a police officer do a nigga dirty because he touched him. 
Don't fucking touch me. I don't know what your motherfucking hands been. Don't fucking touch me. I seen the police officer slap a nigga in the mouth because he kept saying some dumb shit, acting like he didn't know what the police police was saying. He kept trying to speak Spanish. The police said, "Spit." Do you know what I'm saying? Then he tried to speak English. I know you know how to speak English. Stop fucking playing with me. Slapped him in his mouth. So yeah, I'm just saying, police do shit all the time. But once the people get a hold and they get caught, oh, pressure come with that. So I'm just saying, I'm not saying that. Bro, you do things at your job. You do things that you know, you know you was 30 minutes late. But nobody caught you. Are you slid on in there? I'm just saying though. So no, the police won't get no immunity for doing no reckless shit and they get caught doing that reckless shit. No, nah, they gonna get they gonna get punished just like everybody else. But you're not finna just be running around here blaming police for shit that clearly they was in the right to do. And now you trying to sit here and say, oh no, nah, man, shit. They ain't gonna be running that game no more. That game that I don't want to go into it, but you know, you know the game that a lot of people are running right now. The Black Lives Matters. They running a scam. All right, we done, I done talked about the Black Lives Matter so long. I don't even speak on it no more. They fucking dog me. You still believe in that movement right there? That's tough. That's tough. See. What I what I what I respect is we all grown at the end of the day. So why is people getting out and dogging people out because they chose their party? Why? What does that what purpose to Okay, let me ask you this. You dog me out, call me all kind of names, but want me to come vote for your party. You see what I mean? Clearly, there are some mental issues going on. Something ain't right, dog. You dog me out, call me stupid. I don't know how to pick no candidate. You, you call me all kind of names, but you want me to come over there and hang out with y'all. You want me to come and kick it with you. You want me to come kick it with you and vote for your party, but you just, I, I, I don't want to, so you're going to beat me into submission, huh? You're going to just keep poking at me until I say, well, you know what? I don't really know how to pick no candidate. I'm sorry, y'all. Can y'all let me back in? Come on, man. Quit playing. Bingo. There they go with them lies again. So you didn't hear about the, the stuff that he wanted to do for America? That's why we voted for him. <laughs> Did you not hear that part? So do you divorce your husband because he say, I like Trump policy over Kamala policy? Do you disown your kids because they like Trump policy over Kamala policy? Do you stop being friends with the, the, the guy you've been friends with for 30 years because y'all have a different opinion when it comes to policies and politics? But that's your good friend. Do you stop being friends? So do, do you stop supporting me because I have a different opinion in politics? Because his policy benefit my views a little more than the other side? Do you say I can't rock with you, Anonymous? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Sound like to me, sound like some more religious wars. You know, oh, your religion is this religion, so we can't be friends. What what my religion got to do with you? I haven't done you no wrong, but because I don't believe in what you believe in, I'm a bad person. Because I voted the way I voted, I'm a bad person. Oh my God, sound a little suspect to me. I thought y'all was good people. I thought y'all was the intelligent group. But all of a sudden, I'm the dummy because I believe in this and, and you believe in that and I'm the bad guy. Whoa, sound a little crazy to me. I thought you was the smart one.
I thought she said she didn't know why we voted for Trump. But she just sit there and said every reason we voted for Trump. <laughs> These supposed to be the smart people. I'm not name calling because I'm saying I am name calling. From what we know, y'all the smart ones. Y'all got the college education. Y'all went to school. Y'all got them degrees. You got a beautiful family. You made more money than me. Yeah, you're supposed to be the one that got it going on. But you told me you don't know why we voted for Trump. Well, you, you just seem to have a list of why we voted for Trump. I thought you don't know. What? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. The thing that she worried about, she voted against. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. And these supposed to be the smart people. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Everything she named, the candidate that is for that, that spoke to that, she voted against. This, this can't be real. Your daughter won't play in a sport and get her brain beat out for fighting a man. He saved your daughter if she wanted to be a boxer. If your daughter wanted to go box right now, she can box against women and possibly keep her brain cells. What you think gonna happen if that dude get up in the ring with your daughter? Your daughter can now be a track star, baby, and run fast against other women. What you think when she running against me? What you think gonna happen? Your daughter can now go do this. Unless you just, all right, okay. Guess what? You wanted to have an abortion? What, 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 what rights did he take from you? What rights did Trump take from women? Can somebody tell me? Put in the comment section, please. What right did Trump take from women? It, it's, it's the, I mean, give me something more than he don't want you to kill your baby. He wants you to keep your baby. You don't want your baby? I mean, when, we, when it comes to health issues and, 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 you know, serious rape crimes like that, listen, I'm with you all day. I told y'all. My lady is pregnant right now. About to have a son. I now have five kids. We tried to have an abortion. We flew to New York to have an abortion. Because we can't do it in Florida. Guess what? I wasn't mad that we cannot have the abortion. I said, this is a sign from God. I, at first, when we found out she was pregnant, I did like any other. I did like, I, I did the thing that I said, we got, we got three kids, they still baby. You know, we not fully stable and situated in a healthy relationship. We shouldn't have been having sex unprotected, knowing that me and you, it's in an unhappy and an un, you know, I haven't grown up yet. I'm still being a, a person that's not being responsible for my family, still hanging out. I just, you know, I had to really go through something to accept and appreciate my family and to value my family. So at the time, I, I thought it would be best that we not have any more kids. She wanted the child. I wanted another baby, but I just felt like we wasn't in a position to be having more kids at the moment. We have a 10-year-old, a 3-year-old, and a 2-year-old. And y'all know I have an outside kid that I never met. They tell me I shouldn't be claiming her. You know, I pay child support. I never met her, but so I claim her. But they say it's not my child. So, but I, one day I may meet her. One day I may meet her. Uh, I, 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 
I look forward to meeting her one day, but that's another story. Um, and then so she pregnant with a boy, so that's five kids for me, four for her. Um, so we went to New York and we can, you know, we went all the way to New York to have the abortion because we couldn't have it here in Florida. Um, and they said, um, you know, that was unable to do the process. I wasn't mad because I said, this is our responsibility. We had an unprotected sex, knowing that our relationship with Rocky. This is our responsibility. So we're going to take care of this child. We're going to have this child. And I'm going to stop my old ways. I'm going to be the man that I asked God to help me be. I wanted to be a family man. I wanted to take care of my family. I wanted to be in the house with my kids. My lady is not a bad person, but because I haven't, I was still looking outside of what I had. I, I, I can't really embrace my family, even though I had got everything that I asked for. What I asked for, God gave it to me. He gave me a, a feminine, caring, loving woman that go above and beyond. For her family. She cooked. Dinner every night. If I need her. Assistant. Financially. She. Go get a great job. You know there was a time. When my lady didn't have to work. I took care of all the responsibilities. But then things happened in our life to where I had to come down off the income that I was having. So I had to restart my income. So my lady had to jump up and help me. She didn't have an issue with going to get a job. Now I'm getting back to my income to where she can make and come off the job. But we'll come to that when we come to it because right now this economy said that we may have to, you may have to work a little longer than you would like to. But there was a time when my lady didn't work and I took care of everything. But like I said, things change in the economy. So things change in the working situation. And, um, but we tried to have the abortion and we didn't have it. And I, and I, and I'm happy we didn't do it. I'm happy because. That's another blessing that God put into our life because we've been having a lot of unprotected sex, but all of a sudden now you get pregnant. And I said to myself, God didn't allow me to have a boy because I wasn't ready to raise a boy. I was still the guy that was doing all the opposite thing of what a man should be doing when he have a son. The old me would have had my son dripped out in jewelry, dripped out in Jordans. Dripped out in, in jeans that look real nice and and and, and matching clothes that gonna gonna make him look like a little thug. I would have had him lifting weights at, at two years old. You know what I'm saying? Like the the, the old me would have had him pulling hoes. Yeah, come on, boy. You get, come on, you hang out with pops. But see, the me now, yeah, I, I'm I'm man enough now to raise a boy. I have gotten a little more knowledge up under my belt to be able to withstand raising a, 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 a young man. I won't put him in the in, in situation all because of where I came from. I think he got to go through that. No. So I think for me to have four daughters and my baby boy is a boy, my young... The one that's coming into this world going to be a boy. I said, that's the blessing. And God stopped that abortion process for us. We flew all the way to New York from Florida to have an abortion and God didn't let it go through. And I'm grateful for that. And because of that, I said, I have to change 
our ways. My family have done nothing but support me. And the fact that I'm still out here doing fuck shit, running around, playing games at the age of 32. I'm 32 years old, got four kids, three kids, and a woman that, that's depending on me, love me, support me. And, and I'm still hanging out at the clubs, getting sleepy, hanging out. Nah, oh, that's not right. You know, I, I'm, I'm making money, I'm working, but I'm still doing hanging out. What I'm hanging out for like that? When I could be doing that activities with my family. So I said, God didn't allow me to have a son because I wasn't ready to raise a man. It's been confirmed that I'm ready to raise a man. As I now have a boy on the way. It's been confirmed by God that I'm now ready to raise a man. That's what has been confirmed to me. And it took a long route to get here. Because I kept going the opposite route. I kept going to do other things that what God really had in place for me. We sometimes choose the hard route, y'all. And we can often choose the easy path. And that's doing the hard things. We do the hard things for the easy path. If we do the easy thing for the hard, we're going to get the hard path. But we can do the hard things that are going to lead to the easy. The hard things are staying in school, paying attention. The hard things are saying no to hanging out all night. The hard things are saying no to smoking, no to drinking all the time. The hard things are saying no to every girl that looks your way and you want to have sex with her. The hard things are saying no to every dude that pops in your life and want to turn up. See, if we turn down those things, we can have an easy road in life. If we choose to go to the gym, do the hard things like lifting old weights, if we choose to read these books, do the hard things like read 30 minutes a night, then graduate to an hour a night, then graduate to two hours. See, if we start doing those hard things, we'll have an easy process through this game called life. But most of us, we take the hard route. No, we take the easy route. And we wonder why life is so hard. We go hang out and party and turn up and we don't respect our parents. We don't listen. A lot of us, we had so much knowledge in the house, but we chose to go outside the house and turn up with the people that are not giving us any game and knowledge. So, you know, that's just a little bit, man, on, on the abortion thing. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to say we went to New York to have an abortion and God stopped it. He stopped that process. We flew all the way back to Florida. And I was content on knowing that I'm about to have a son. Mm. It's been confirmed I'm ready to raise a man. That's the biggest confirmation you can have, right? You got four girls, no boys. And now, when you start to change your life around, God say, boom, she pregnant with a boy. Because you've been putting in the work, you now ready to leave behind a legacy. Your daughter's going to get married off one day, or a relationship, you know, not necessarily marriage, or however they do it. But now the son, he will carry your last name. You will now get a chance to leave behind a legacy. Because you've been doing the things. You've been paying attention. You've been reading. You've been going to the gym. You've been trying to be a lawyer to your family. You've been playing with your kids. You've been, put, you've been, you've been teaching your kids. You've been teaching your lady. You've been saying no to the people that are trying to um, interfere in your life. You've been turning down the parties. You've been turning down the girls. 
You've been turning down the alcohol. I see now. You've been studying finance. You've been studying real estate. You've been studying uh, stocks. I see now. See now you're ready to raise a son. Ready, you ready for a boy now. I see, I see now you ready. So I got the biggest confirmation out this world, man, that I'm now ready to raise a boy. Mm. Let's get back into the the show of the people putting on. Hey. That's the only thing she said that made sense because all the other bullshit she was saying, all the stuff that she was saying that she was worried about was the president. That is the president that saying that he's gonna protect those things and 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 he's looking forward to taking the tax off your your parents' social security. He's gonna take the tax off your your overtime. I mean that's what he said. Now we now if we don't do those things, then guess what we gonna do? We're gonna get on this motherfucking ass the same way we got on her ass. Get her up out of here. She ain't did shit. Four years she been there. We ain't even know this motherfucking lady still was living. How many times for my day ones, you cannot lie. I don't know if I got any of my day ones in here right now. But how many times have I said, have anybody seen Kamala? Where is she? I said that shit so many times over the last four years. Where have this lady been? We didn't even know she still was around. For four years, this lady was hiding. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. If he's gonna increase it, but still charging, okay. If he increasing the debt, right? But has a way to pay off the debt by charging and putting tariff on people. Don't you think that's a? She ain't saying nothing about charging no motherfucker. So she was gonna put us in debt and didn't have a way to pay. What you think the plug gonna do about that? So this nigga saying, okay, there's gonna be a way that we can get some money. Well, of course, through this process, there will be bills that have to be paid. But well, we're going to be getting money from these other countries. We're going to be getting money so on these corporations that want to take their jobs. So it's not like he don't have a plan to pay off this debt. And we know one president not about to pay off this motherfucker. You niggas been putting, you act like we just started getting in debt. Did you say the debt was motherfucking trillions of dollars? So why the fuck all of a sudden now, you man, get the fuck out of here. All of a sudden, now y'all worried about the debt. We was in debt with Obama. We was in debt with, with Biden. We was in debt with Bush. We was in debt with JFK. We've been in debt forever. So all of a sudden, no. Man, go on with the bullshit, dog. Go on with the bullshit. That nigga said he finna slap them tariff on them people. We gonna be getting some money. Don't worry. We gonna get some money. If you stop buying fucking resources from everywhere else instead of using our own resources, Maybe we wouldn't be in summer's debt. If we stop giving, if we start printing money that we don't fucking have to give, is that, that don't make sense, don't do it. How about we start printing money to give to other motherfuckers? You talking about debt? What you gonna say about these people giving all our motherfucking money away? How about instead of giving it away, you pay our motherfucking debt with it? Have you thought about that? Now, come on now. I only went to college for a couple months. Come on now. I can't be thinking of that. And y'all ain't thought of that. So you got enough money. You willing to go in more debt. Give our money away. But you can't go into debt. You can't use the money that we had. That you gave away. Or that y'all printed. That probably don't exist. How about y'all use some of that to pay some of this debt off? Y'all ain't thought about that then. You just thought about giving it away. And now you want to see him blame, oh, he going to put up more in debt. Well, God damn. We've been living in debt for so long, nigga. We done got comfortable. <laughs> I'm just, I'm the bullshit on that, but I'm just saying, all these people full of bullshit. Culture resentment, but you married. You ain't married no black man. 
<laughs> Y'all funny. Y'all funny. So we got culture resentment, but you don't. Woo! Well, they funny. They funny. We got it, but she don't. So now she black in age. In Indian. Fuck is going on? Man, it's dark outside. Uh, what time? It's 1.51. I'm scared. I got to take my kids. Hey, well. That won't work today. Let's see. I don't even know what day today is. Okay, so day Thursday. I gotta go to work tonight, please. I don't go to work till tonight, so I gotta take this. So she Indian, Asian. Hey, I ain't even know they let black people keep that many. I thought once you have black and you black. Indian, Asian, black, Asian. That's a lot of shit. Alright, let's get back to it. Ah, shit going on. This shit is nuts. But you see what I'm saying? They, is, is, is she slow or slow? Okay, I, no name call. Name call. Clearly, they recognize they won. <laughs> How can the loser recognize you won, but the winner don't recognize you won? <laughs> so the loser can see that the winner won, but the winner can't see that the winner won. Man, what is you saying, man? Quit playing out here, man. These people trolling, dog. Yes, you did. Boy, dark outside. Boy, dark outside. Y'all ain't tell people who to vote for. So y'all, so y'all ain't tell people who to vote for. So y'all ain't been name calling the last fucking few weeks. Oh, niggas that even thought about voting for Trump. Y'all ain't been. So y'all ain't told. So y'all ain't told nobody who to vote for. Man, y'all gotta stop this game, man. Hold up. Was that a plan? Because any no, you gotta you gotta listen very carefully to these people. She said she made it, she made it a, a moment, right? She said she did this in two months. She did it in two months. She wanted the people to grab that. You think. Can it be they left Biden in there that long so they can give her a way out of this L? Because Biden being should have re been replaced by the vice president. She should have been the president already. But they dragged it out. They dragged it out and dragged it out and dragged it out. And all of a sudden, no, Biden is unfit. To be president, he drops out. You think that was part of their little game? You think they knew that the possibility of her winning was very slim, but they can give her this. She only had two months, so now she can come back and try to win in the four years? Y'all think that was, hmm, that's something to think about. It just, it's just something to think about. 